Sonoran CMS manages your entire community for free. Learn more at sonorancms.com. Sonoran CMS allows you to create and manage custom forms. These can be useful for keeping track of member applications and keeping records. To begin customizing forms, head to the admin panel and then click Forms. Here, you will see all the existing forms in your community. Click on any form to begin editing it. Alternatively, you can create a new form by clicking on the green plus button and selecting Custom Form. At the top, you can give your form a title and select the type of form it is. Below that, you can begin customizing the form itself. Forms are broken down into two levels, sections and questions. In the section, you can set its name and toggle whether or not it's conditional. We'll get back to that in a moment. Below that, you'll see the questions within this section. Here, you can input your questions and select the field type for the responses. You can select text, text area, checkboxes, time, date, member selection, etc. At the bottom of a question, you can also clone, delete, or mark it as required. Let's set up these first two questions. Text area can be useful for longer strings of information, such as a user answering why they want to join your community. Let's create a question with a checkboxes field. You can also drag and drop to reorder the questions should you need. Now, let's create a section by clicking on the green button on the right. We'll give the section a name, and then mark it as conditional. From here, we can select the questions that this section conditionally depends on, and input values. If the user's answer to that question matches the values you put there, this section will show up, and if not, it will stay hidden. Let's select our department question, and then input LSPD. And next, we can customize the question for that section. Now, if the user enters LSPD as their department while filling out this form, they will then be prompted to answer this follow-up question. Back at the top of the form, you can click the settings icon to change additional settings, such as setting an icon for the form, adding a description, or customizing limits and permissions. The Limits tab allows you to set limits, such as how many times a user can submit this form, set a cooldown between submissions, etc. The Permission tab allows you to customize what ranks are given permissions related to this form. You can select the individual permission at the top, and then select which ranks are granted this permission. For example, we will give managers, super admins, mods, and admins permission to change form stages. When you're done customizing your form, Click the green floppy disk to save it. Next, we can begin customizing form stages. To do so, let's head back to the main admins form tab, and from there, click go to submissions in the top right. Here, you will see all your forms listed out on the left side, and the stages for each form listed in this big window to the right. Let's select the form we just created. As you can see, it populates with default stages. You can select the settings cog to edit existing stages, or click the green plus button to create a new stage. Please note that you must always have at least one stage in order for the form to be used. Let's create a new stage. In the Info tab, we can give it a name, icon, color, and description. In the Actions tab, you can specify actions that will happen automatically when the submission is moved to that stage. Let's add a Modify Submitter's Rank action. This allows you to select ranks that are added or removed from the submitter when their form reaches this stage. For example, if a user is promoted to admin, you could have it remove their previous rank and then add the admin rank. Other actions include auto-reply, notify submitter, etc. When you've customized the stage to your liking, click Create Stage. You'll now see an overview of all of the form stages. You can drag and drop to reorder them, but the first stage will always be the default stage that is assigned upon initial submission. When you're done with all of that, click Save. Now, let's head to the Main Forms tab and submit this form as an example. As you can see, when I type LSPD for my department, the follow-up question automatically pops up. Back in the Submissions tab, as you can see, my submission shows up in the default stage of Pending. If you have the permission, you can drag and drop the submission to change its stage. 
let's drag and drop it to our new custom stage. If we go back to the admin panel and click on my user, as you can see, I have now received the admin rank. The main forms tab is where users will go to submit forms, and they can also view their submissions from there. There is a reply box on the side that allows for back and forth communications between users and moderators if it's enabled. This can be useful if the moderators have any questions, comments, or need clarification on anything in the form submission. And that is how you create and manage custom forms in Sonoran CMS.